Hey there, Edge Magicians. My name is Dr. Sam Fessich, and I'm really excited to be sharing with you about AI tools for Dan that fit within the Danielson framework for teaching. So let's jump right in. My name is Dr. Sam, and I'm an associate professor of education. I'm the author of Edu Magical Guide for Pre-Service Teachers and co-author of Crush It From the Start, 50 Tips for New Teachers. I'm also the host of the Edu Magic New Educator podcast, and you can find my work over on sfessage.com. So today's agenda, we're going to talk about what is AI, some benefits and considerations along with AI tools that fit within the Danielson framework for teaching. So teachers, please know that AI is not going to replace us. Instead, it's going to be a tool that can help support us. So it's not going anywhere. Let's learn to teach with it and how it can help us. So what is AI? AI is the machine learning of human tasks. So it can think about reasoning or problem solving. It can pull from lots and lots of data and create a response. So it's AI is computer software and systems that perform tasks that we think that only humans can do, but computers can do as well. There are some great benefits of AI in the classroom. For example, you can use it to support individualized learning, fantastic opportunities for differentiation. It can save time on a little administrative tasks like those emails and messages. It can help with assessment, providing assessment, providing feedback, help with creating content, lesson ideas, and some considerations for using AI. So some drawbacks, things you might want to think about is what you put into the system is what you get out. So if you're going to put not a great prompt in, you're not going to get a great response. There's also biases embedded within AI, and AI can also give us information that's not truthful. Um, AI does not know your students, you do. That's where you put your special teacher magic on. And we need to be aware of data and privacy concerns when it comes to artificial intelligence and signing up for all these different AI tools. We wanna make sure we're reading those privacy and data considerations. AI can also hallucinate, so it can just provide a random response that has nothing to do with your prompt. So being aware of these biases, but there are some benefits to AI. And we're gonna talk about how AI fits into the four domains of Danielson Framework. Danielson Framework is a very common evaluation system that's used uh, to evaluate teachers. We have planning and prep, learning environments, learning experiences, and principal teaching. And we're going to demo just a few AI tools that can be used across those different domains. Starting off with planning and prep, it has several components embedded within here. And I'm going to go ahead and flip to one of the tools, which is EduAid. And within EduAid, we could go ahead and we can develop content. So here we can pull in our specific content area. If I click social studies, we can do our grade level and we can start with a lesson seed. And maybe we wanna do the three branches of government. We can have EduAid add a little bit of sprinkles to it. So there it is, it enhanced that. I'm gonna click add to workspace. Here we go, here's a little lesson where it talks about prior knowledge, activating knowledge, direct instruction, practice assignments, team-based activities, formative assessment pieces, and deep questions. I can also take that and I can do engagement um, activities and click add to workspace. So here's my lesson plan if I scroll down. Here we go. We have picture match, vocabulary race, true and false, quick debate, would you rather questions. So there's some quick activities. I can also um, go ahead and create different um, options. So I can do a slides outline. I can do um, a list. I can do sentence stems, reading comprehension, essay, um, extension worksheet. So if I click that, add to my workspace. Here's my worksheet, ready to rock and roll. And all I need to do is copy it. I can edit it right within here as well. So I can pull this information, I can save it, I can copy it, I can edit it. So I can copy it right to my clipboard and then I can paste it into a worksheet. So just for planning and prep reasons, this is fantastic. I also like their cooperative learning. So there's stations, team-based activity, think pair shares, jigsaw, lots of really cool stuff I can do within here. And then the next tool I wanted to show you within domain one is Magic School AI. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up too. Oh, there we go. With this one, with my Magic School tools, I can click planning. 
here we go. I can have a conceptual understanding generator. So if I click this, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, fourth grade three branches of government. And you'll notice along the side here, there's limitations to this. So it'll tell you what those limitations are. Here's my generator. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it's providing different ideas um, for role play, comparison charts, branch collages. Um, I also have conceptual understanding. I have student work feedback tool, rubric generator, um, AI resistant assignment suggestions. So if you want to make sure your students aren't copy pasting, use that. Um, so yeah, fantastic resources there for planning and prep. Let's go ahead and keep looking through. We have our next one, learning environments and goblin tools we're going to talk about for learning environments. So for these, I want you to think about um, thinking about these tools for differentiation. So if I click magic to do, and I'm having my students write a five paragraph essay about the stick with branches of government. And I click go. I have my, I can break this down into smaller tasks. So here we go. Choose a topic, conduct the research, uh, write intro paragraph. And then I can break these down even further. Research of different branches of government, evaluate the importance. So this is a fantastic step-by-step -step task analysis. For, for you to plan out and help students plan out writing a five paragraph essay. So instead of just write a fair five paragraph essay, now they have prompts and a little checklist to do. Let's go ahead and do proofread. Let's go ahead and pull that up, check for clarity, review the entire essay, fix grammatical mistakes. Yeah, so magic tools, or uh, this one's under goblin tools. We have magic to do. There's other ones as well. So estimator gives you like a time, like estimate how long it's gonna take for you to do an activity, which is really nice for planning and for like, organization, um, executive functioning skills, how long does it actually take you to do a, a specific skill or a specific task? All right, up next, we have domain three. And we have CuriePod, Quizzes, and Quizlet. So I'm going to demo one of these tools for you guys today, and it's going to be Quizzes. So within Quizzes, I can pull up a YouTube video. And I'm going to pop in a link here. So I'm going to go to one of my uh, favorite YouTube videos, Rita Pearson, Every Child Needs a Champion. I'm going to go ahead, grab that URL. Thank you very much. Pop that in there. You can also upload a file or do text to quiz. You can copy and paste content right within here, but I'm going to do paste URL. And then I'm going to click generate questions. We're going to give us some think time. Everybody needs think time, even computers. Is analyzing that video and it's going to give us questions based on the video's content. So this is a fantastic time saver if you're having students watch a video and now you want them to respond to questions about that video. Um, quizzes can do that, which is really neat. So here are our questions. I can add some AI, I can do replace with a similar question, convert to a real world, real world scenario. I can translate that, which is a fantastic option. Add an answer explanation. And then I can go ahead and, um, so it has my answer explanation for that, which is really neat. And I can click apply changes. I can have it convert to a true and false or a fill in the blank. And it's going to fix that for me. There we go. And this, I don't think this is correct. I think it's Stephen Covey. If I remember the video correctly. So I'm going to want to make sure that I go in and I edit that to be, this is the correct answer. Not that one. Save. So this is what I mean by using AI. 
you have to look through 